Maria to do something the book for it because I feel like pretty much all of your albums have um, t like lots of literary references but also like literary frames which um, is exciting to me as someone who loves reading and listening to music. Uh, so I was wondering if maybe you could talk a little bit about the relationship between um, literature and your creative process like of late or just in general. Yeah, uh, let's see. So, um, I, I think uh, when I started making, like, I'll look at you. <laughs> um, when I started making, around the time I, few years, like, first few years I started making music, I was struggling a lot with um, insecurity and not knowing what I wanted to do and with music. And I think, um, Getting in, interested in words helped me a lot. Uh, so this would have been like a little over 10 years ago. And um, I was trying to be like a, a composer and know what I wanted musicians to do and be very direct and be very professional and be like a strong classical musician. And, and uh, I think I got really frustrated with like, uh, insecure about like um, classical music world and I, uh, I felt like reading some uh, Frank O'Hara or some of the stuff I, reading something that felt kind of um, intuitive and like stream of consciousness helped me a lot. Um, so my early years, I guess, um, writing music were helped a lot by reading and even writing kind of bad poetry, I think. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so from there, I guess, um, also, just playing, learning about playing with text helped me kind of un understand how to work with text because uh, as a singer, uh, when I first started recording, I, 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 in more classical music world, you don't really use um, your own text a lot of times. You, uh, you set music to text by like a writer, a famous writer or something. So I was trying to understand, oh, how do I play with words? So reading something like uh, Virginia Woolf or these people I found inspiring as an older teenager, like 17, 18, uh, helped me understand, and, and even John Cage, like Mesostics or something, how to play with words a lot. And that kind of inspired me um, to work with words in music also. I don't know if that's, I could go into, I don't know, maybe, should I keep talking? <laughs> I mean, I, I, uh, even up till, so now, I mean, what was inspiring for me in my latest record, Aviary, was specifically, I, a lot of times it's just whatever I'm reading at the time goes into the music I'm making. So, um, so uh, I was reading um, uh, Atal Adnan at the time, who's also, she's a well-known uh, painter, but she has this book called uh, Master of the Eclipse, and I was reading that. Um, and I really like related to the, the way I was feeling and certain for whatever reason at the time so it, I feel like these things kind of come like fall into what I'm working on and I ended up like quoting a line from one of her stories in, um, in the liner notes not in a song but in the liner notes which was um, I found myself in an aviary full of shrieking birds yeah, I wanted to ask too, I remember thinking about the, um, the Atela Nam book you were talking about around that record. You talked about coming across this question, what are poets for in these destitute times? I think that was it. Um, and I guess that was like an interesting thing to me for a couple of reasons. Um, maybe I'll just ask a two-part question, which is one, do you feel like you found an answer to that question through doing the record? Uh, and also, do you consider yourself a poet in any way? Um, I don't, yeah, I, I don't know if I found an answer to that question. Uh, I, I think a lot of the destitute times that Atella Nan is referencing in her stories, too, are, like, beyond anything I've ever known as well, so it's hard for me to even, like, claim to relate to it, but I think a lot of times, like, in one case, and the title, um, t title track, title story of the, of the, um, book, of the book, a collection of short stories, she's talking about a poet from Baghdad who has kind of like been so affected by the wars and what happens to him as a um, as a writer, um, as a result of, of the catastrophes in, in Iraq. 
And so it's not something um, in my privileged world that I've experienced. But um, yeah, I related a lot to the, the more like just the pure like artistic um, uh, experience she was describing, um, just of in, you know chaos in the world, I guess. And um, I don't think I found an answer. <laughs> Um, and, uh, yeah, wait, what was the second part of the question? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know if I consider myself a poet. I guess, I, I guess what's weird is I sometimes think of myself as a writer because I feel like, um, just a writer in general, like a writer of music, or because I feel like, um, I don't always know how to present myself as a persona. I'm more like feel like a like my songs are the personas and I'm creating them or I feel like a little more like a writer somehow like a little backstage even though when I perform I get really into it but I feel like a writer in a way where I'm not like a character that's specific all the time and more like my it's like the songs are the characters so I don't know I guess I think of poetry uh, I have friends who are, who are poets or at least one friend that I, I respect what they do because I think it's different than what I do. Maybe it's more like, um, like what I'm doing is like is like making words that sound good in the context of the music, and they're like song words. They're not necessarily like words on a page to me as much. Um, whereas maybe like poets know how to work with the spoken word in this like specific way, where it's a, a word. It's not a song word. It's it's not sung. It's. A, but I think uh, also these things are ambiguous, so that's how I think of it, but, you know. Cool, yeah, it's interesting to hear you talk about the, kind of like the concept of authorship, basically, like, in relation to your music, since you, I feel like you typically work with, yeah, like, source material, kind of like a, um, one of your records was inspired by a Colette no novella, one was about, with a couple were inspired by Greek, Greek tragedy, um, which also made me wonder, um, like, I'm, I'm curious to hear how you relate to the idea of, like, storytelling, um, and for you, when you're writing a song or a record, like, what do you think makes a good story? I think I just don't think a lot about it, um, like, um, what happens is, uh, so for instance, um, with tragedy, which, um, was I wrote like 10 years ago, over 10 years, no, no, not over 10 years ago, okay, 10 years ago. And uh, I think um, I was thinking a lot about, um, uh, actually I wasn't thinking much and uh, <laughs> I was recording sounds and at the same time I was reading um, Greek tragedies for some reason and I was on Euripides uh, Hippolytus so um, I was interested in that, and I was like, oh, uh, there was a translation that the line was, I can see you, but my eyes are not allowed to cry. And I was like, okay, that's a great line. It's very poetic. I'm going to incorporate this into what I'm working on musically. And it kind of just found its way, and I ended up basically setting, like almost all the text from that record is from the play. It's not, a lot of it isn't my own writing. So, a text, I mean. Um, so, I guess it found its way in that way um, and wait I forgot what the question was oh yeah storytelling I don't know what makes this song a good story I guess I find that I don't know uh, oh it's just that feeling like I saw this line like I can see you but my eyes are not allowed to cry and I was like <sighs> like that's so intense you know and um, so that, uh, it just was like, oh, I'll make music to that because that's a great line. And I don't know if I come up with lines like that on my own. It's like, I'm so inspired. Uh, I think of like art, music making, whatever, like different types of mediums within the art world. I think of these things as uh, kind of existing in order to, uh, for other art to be created. So for me, that's always what like text by other people is. It's like, or movies or whatever but it's like inspires me to make something it's like an instantaneous feeling and I felt something from that line and um, I just looped it over and over because it was so good <laughs> great line thank you for bringing it to us from ancient Greece <laughs> um, 